Hi everyone, welcome to this short video on inserting or changing your header logo. Well, if you'd like to put a little logo or an image on your header area like we have here, it's a very simple process. But before we do that, we want to think about the image that we're putting up there. And I have a few notes for you about that. What I want you to think about is the size of this image that you have here. The size of the image will take up a lot of space up here, so we're thinking somewhere around 100 by 100 pixels. So if you have some photo editing software on your computer, you can take any image and you can change its pixel size. If you don't, there's a couple of quick tools you can look at. Here's one I have set up online here. It's called Pixar.us. You can browse your computer for an image, upload that image to work on it, Here's the image that I brought up. Yes, there's a few ads here. But if I click on resize, I'm very quickly able to resize that image according to the pixel size that I want. And then if that's what I want, I can click on save and it downloads it right to my hard drive so I can use that image. So a very quick way of changing the pixel size of an image. Another way of dealing with this might be to go to iClip Art for School. If you haven't been there before, there's a very interesting feature where you're going to be able to select the pixel size of an image. Let me just do a quick search for, let's say, a lion. And here's a lion right here. And let's say I want this image uh, for my header. I'll click on that. And you can see that I can download this image in a variety of different formats. But more interestingly, I can download that in terms of a pixel size. So I have a number of pixel sizes that I can choose from. This just happens to have 100 pixels for the avatar. I just click on download and begin that process and I can get that image the way I want it. So play with that a little bit. And uh, I, I usually it takes a little bit of uh, playing around to get the size that you want. Well, let's look at the process. I'm gonna go to my sandbox site here and let's take this image and put it up on the header so it's always visible to my viewers. So I'm going to go to the More menu and select Site Layout. And once I begin to work with Edit Site Layout, I just have to click on the area that I want to work with, and here's my header area. So I'll click anywhere in the header, and I'll get this dialog box here to configure the site header. And I can select a logo or have no logo. So I'm going to go and select Custom Logo and browse my computer to the image that I have ready to go. And I just happen to have it on my desktop. I'll select it. It'll take just a moment for it to upload, and you'll see it here. And if that's what you want, click on OK. And it will immediately edit that header. Now, if you don't like it in this format, notice that there's a couple of other tools you can have here. You can select instead of center, you can have standard. And we can select that and see how that looks. So you can play with your header and see how you'd like to display that image. Well, that's all there is to it. Once we're finished, we just close Edit Site Layout and we're ready to move on. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.